Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. survived. Hey guys, that's exactly right. Those two teens are here at Children's Hospital in Detroit. These two girls know each other, they're friends, and had a chance to hang out a bit today after one of them got out of surgery. They both, I'm told, are expected to recover, and they are incredibly grateful for it. And they just thanking God that they are okay. And they're not the only ones. Tamika Redman and Jacqueline De La Garza are counting their blessings. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. The girls are okay. okay. <laughs> Their daughters, Kiara Davis and Ariana Patton, were shot at a party on Joy Road in Penrod Sunday night. Both girls are close friends from Melvindale. This is the, all these kids learning, linking up on Instagram and just coming to a spot, and they chose to come to Joy Road. Redman says her daughter, Kiara, snuck away from home the night before the shooting going to Ariana's house and telling her mom she had been kicked out. And I told her, I was like, I highly doubt that your mother, being you, a young girl, kicked you out at 3 o'clock in the morning. I was like, you can stay here tonight and we'll handle it in the morning. Um, I had woke up the following day and her and my daughter were both already gone. De La Garza says somehow the girls, 14 and 15 years old, took a lift to Detroit's west side. The rideshare service does not allow minors to ride alone. De La Garza says her daughter sent a text message Sunday afternoon apologizing for leaving home and then radio silence. Nothing for eight hours until both her and Redmond's phones rang. Next phone call I got was at 845 that my daughter was shot. I was down so I went on the freeway 100 miles an hour to I get am. to my child. Someone did a drive-by. Kiara was shot once in the foot. Ariana struck in the side, arm, and back. The doctors literally said that it was literally a hair away from her spine. Sunday night shooting capped off a particularly violent weekend in Detroit. There were seven homicides and 24 non-fatal shootings, including one over a parking spot in which six people were wounded and two others killed. Redmond and De La Garza say their daughters caught a break, and it's a wake-up call that could not be louder or more clear then here you are living this thing that you never believed would happen and this thing that you keep drilling in, into your kids' heads. Like, you guys, you guys cannot do this type of stuff. Like, there's, we, 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 we as parents, we're not doing this stuff to hurt you. We're doing this stuff to protect you. So all, all you young kids, Stop it. Stop. It's not worth it. And then you, and then you kids that's going around with these guns, come on now, stop. And this shooting is still very much under investigation. Anyone with information about those involved, please call Detroit Police Department. Sixth Precinct will have that number on our website, fox2detroit.com.